I have so many things to do, but the moment that I heard that Dexter, the uh, serial killer TV series, is going, was going to return, I just dropped everything off and I blasted off to the internet to see if that was if that was really true because years ago they also said that it was going to be a movie and it was an April Fool's joke. So I, I right now I'm I just finished uh, seeing some pages and in fact it's going to be a return after eight years of the Dexter TV series and I cannot express how much happy and enthusiastic I am. I mean, it was my first uh, TV series uh, that I I fell in love with. I mean, before Breaking Bad, before Mad Men, uh, uh, Dexter came in, in, in a, came when I was in, a, in an age of discovering you know, new uh, movies, new films, new music, new media and it was the one that I it was always uh, interesting to me I always saw the trailers the promos and I just wanted to see it so now after all the time and we're going to talk about it finally but after all that time it's going to return and what's even better uh, Michael C. Hall you know the protagonist is going to be in this reboot in this return i don't know what it is um but also it's going to be one of the here i was reading that one of the showrunners a uh, clive phillips i think that he, he was during the four fifth uh, four first seasons of dexter and i think they they he was a creative consultant for the few first uh, season five episodes. So he was in the Dexter Golden Age, and that if you are a fan of Dexter or you know, or you know Squad about uh, <laughs> the the polemic of the Dexter finale and the Dexter run of its series, you know that the four first uh, seasons were great, were the best seasons, and. Uh, Sadly, uh, over the time, it became really repetitive. It became uh, boring. And most people, including me, just finished the series because I had hope that they were going to make it right or they're going to uh, at least stick the landing. That at least they're going to give a, you know, a satisfying finale. But uh, that's other topic. So, uh, this is great news. This is a really exciting news. But uh, we have to talk about how are they going to pull it. Uh, if you don't have seen Dexter, then I'm going to save you the bad taste of the finale, which essentially Dexter uh, fake his own death, and he went to become a lumberjack in Alaska, I think. Uh, a, a little too much like, like Breaking Bad, you know, Jesse going to Alaska. But uh, he gave his son to his girlfriend. I don't even remember the names. I, uh, the, the Some name was Harrison, but the girlfriend is what was. I, I don't remember. The important plot point is that he, uh, Deborah, his sister, was, uh, was killed uh, what was was a mercy killed by Dexter because she was paralyzed or she was in a coma or something. Uh, it was a really convoluted mess. I think they tried to uh, uh, end a lot of plot points in the final episode. Like they didn't do, you know, like a two part. I think you watch the final episode. We have to cut everything right now. So um, the sidekicks, I mean, the side characters were are still alive um, the mother the mother the, the maternal figure I don't remember this was this doctor she also was dead 
the surrogate song that he really served no purpose also was dead. I don't remember what happened to the memory of Harry, the uh, Dexter stepdad that was like his moral guide. And I was reading a really inter interesting theory that now that Debra is dead, maybe she is going to become that memory, you know, Dexter is going to imagine her um, and she's going to give a uh, heavenly advice. Uh, I don't know about that. Uh, surely it seems that's the most uh, logical choice. And Dexter stepchildren from his first marriage are also alive. Uh, but they they really did, didn't show up in the later seasons. They just people just forgot about that. So how are going to stick this uh, this new opportunity that they have? Maybe they're going to take the dream route, you know, like Dexter is going to wake up someday and, oh, it was just a dream, the last season was just a dream, or the last episode, or from uh, season uh, season five from to six, season eight, I think, I think uh, it's going to be just a dream. I hope that was, that was the case, but I don't, it, logistically, I think that's a problem. So maybe they're going to continue the story from the from where they left off. So from Dexter being a lumberjack, maybe I don't. Maybe he got bored of that, or maybe he starts killing again, and and he 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 is in a problem with the authorities, and now he travels to Argentina. That that's where his girlfriend and his son uh, went. So maybe the, his goal is to go there and make a life. Maybe he returns to Miami, where he was in the whole show. He, he was living there, and he show up and say, "Oh, I'm alive," or or something. Maybe uh, the the side character, the the new commissioner, I think, of police and his uh, his police friends finally discovered what he was doing all those years. And uh, maybe they start to do a manhunt. What do you think is going to happen uh, to the in this new way that they're going to continue the story, or are they going to erase uh, the timeline? Are, are they going to introduce a multiverse theory? I don't know, but I am happy that at least um, this really good, really good series is going to have some attention after so much time. Um, a good point that it says in this article is that uh, whatever they're, they're going to do, it cannot be worse. I mean, it cannot be worse than the finale where uh, Dexter the Lumberjack is just staring to us in a really anticlimactic way. It was just so frustrating. And I have to confess, this is... This, uh, that bad habit that I have when I watch uh, the finale of a series, even if it's good or bad, I have like a, this post-coital uh, bliss that I'm like, oh, it's over, but mm, maybe it was the, end, the ending that it deserved. And I start to, you know, don't look at the bad things. Uh, it was, before, was, um, before was more usual. No, I'm... I, I kind of try to see it more objectively, but that's something that happened to me with the Dexter. I mean, I knew that the seasons were trash, but uh, this, uh, when I saw the ending, I was like, okay, it couldn't have, it could have ended worse, but I was wrong. It was really mediocre. It happened the same to, the same to me with Game of Thrones, but that's another thing. So that's it. Now I'm going to continue with my day. Please leave a comment so I can know your opinion. Or don't. I don't know.